watching K8 News Midday with Diana Davis and meteorologist Aaron Castleberry. It's an event not usually seen in Blyville. The traveling exhibit Rise Above Red Tail Squadron will be in the area soon. This free exhibit will be set up from October 31st to November 4th in Blyville and involves the amazing story of the Tuskegee Airmen. It will include a mobile theater and a P-51 Mustang fly-in. And here to tell us more is Liz Smith, Executive Director of the Mississippi County Regional Chamber of Commerce and die-hard champion of the National Cold War Center. Thank you so much for being Di here. Dying champion, I should probably <laughs> say. You put Thank blood, you sweat, and me. tears into this, haven't yes, you? Yes, uh, there are a group of about 10 of us who are um, kind of at the core of this effort, but many people, of course, are helping us. But blood, a lot of blood and a lot of sweat, not so many tears, but occasionally, but it is it is quite a project, and very it's comprehensive. Really coming along. It is. You've landed a major name to help with we this. We have. One of the things we did a f about a year ago is put in place an advisory board f of experts from across the nation. Uh, it is headed by Dr. Christian Osterman from the Smithsonian, the Wilson Institute, and Dr. Jillian Hartley, who is local in Arkansas Northeastern College. So they're the history they're brilliant history people. And uh, we have Colonel Robert Certain, who's a former POW, and a whole array of people who bring expertise to us. But just last week, General Wesley Clark joined wow. our advisory board. So he brings, of course, a whole new dynamic to our thinking. And uh, it's really amazing to deal with people like them. So we're yes. really, really excited. Exciting things also to talk about this exhibit, the Tuskegee Airmen. Take us through that because we have yes. two other events to talk yes. about as well. The Tuskegee Airmen, I, I'm sure people might know their history, but they were about a thousand African American pilots who, after a lot of political machinations, uh, were developed and the group was developed in Alabama during World War I, and they were primarily escorting fighter pilots, but they oh. achieved, um, they were, I, I can't recall the numbers, but several thousand flights, and they achieved very high numbers in terms of success and safety and uh, excellence. And they went down in history because they really, really stood for these great values of excellence. I think the last one just died recently, in fact. So you so. want to take advantage of that, but also the Cold War Party is a fundraiser coming up, and yes. that's going to be big. And that's on Saturday night, November the 4th, and that is a big gala we have every year. Um, we've already almost sold out, so it's we have over 500 people who come, and we raise a lot of money, especially in the museum world. I mean, usually about $400,000 or so we raise just in that one evening. So it's a great event with auctions and dining and dancing and everything, so that's great. And then uh, kicking off that event the Friday um, night before. On Friday night before, we, are, we do a program at the downtown Ritz Civic Center, which is a historic site in Blyville. We do a program we call the Cold War Conversation. So we bring in someone who has a fascinating story. This year it's John Clausen, who is the author of a book called uh, Missile Man. It's the story of his father who lived a double life oh. as, a coal, as a nuclear um, arms designer during the Cold War. It is an absolutely fascinating story. And Mr. Clausen did not know till he was you know, an adult and married and out of the house that, and his father was almost dead. All of this that is this so had happened. fascinating. Yes. It is wonderful. Liz, we need to have you come back again. I know, when I have an hour to babble on, so right? There's so many <laughs> things going on and it is exciting. Yes. So we want you to keep us informed. Aaron, amazing things happening in Blyville. And you know, I love hearing